The question is an industry has two firms. They face an inverse demand function as P is equal to 200 minus 4Q. P is the market price and Q denotes the output of the two firms. And a constant unit cost of that is $8. That means that they have a constant marginal cost of $8 each. We have to find out the Carnot DO party equilibrium price and quantity. Okay. Now what we are being given? We are being given this demand function and I have written it here P is equal to 200 minus 4. Now in place of this Q I have written is uh, you know Q1 plus Q2 that means this Q okay so Q industry output will be equal to the output of firm 1 plus output of firm 2 okay that's why I have written in place of Q is Q1 plus Q2 okay also marginal cost of firm 1 is equal to marginal cost of firm 2 which is constant which is equal to 8 here okay to find out the market equilibrium price and output in the uh, corner duopoly first we need to find out the reaction function of each firm that means reaction function of firm 1 by reaction function what we mean it simply tells us how much uh, you know output will firm 1 decide given the firm 2 has decided you know its output value to find out the reaction function first we need to find out the total revenue function of firm 1 which is equal to price into output produced by firm 1 this is our price function so 200 minus 4 q1 minus 4 q2 if you solve it to this way we multiply by q1 that is our total revenue function okay that is 200 minus 4 q1 into q1 is q1 square minus q1 into q2 marginal revenue of firm 1 will be simply the partial derivative of this total revenue function with respect to output of firm 1 so taking derivative of q1 in the first term is 1 so we are left with 200 derivative of q1 square is 2 q1 so 2 into 4 is 8 q1 derivative in the last term of q1 is 1 so we are left with 4 q2 okay now we know that profit maximizing condition for each individual firm is he will equate his marginal revenue with it is marginal cost okay marginal revenue function is this to this we equate it with the marginal cost so we have 200 minus 8 q1 minus 4 q2 should be equal to 8 solving for q1 we will get q1 is equal to 24 minus 0 0.5 q2 similarly we need to find out the reaction function or reaction reaction function of firm 2 it simply tells how much output uh, firm 2 will decide given the firm 1 has decided its optimal output value level okay so reaction function to find out the firm 2 is simply first find the total revenue function of firm 2 that's price into output produced by firm 2 price function is this to this we multiply by q2 then we find total revenue function okay multiplying q2 to each of these terms it becomes 200 q2 minus 4 q1 q2 minus 4 q2 square similarly we need to find out the marginal revenue function of firm 2 simply the partial derivative of total revenue function of firm 2 when we partially differentiate this with respect to q2 we get 200 minus 4 q1 minus 8 q2 now uh, profit maximization condition for firm 2 is the same that is marginal revenue of firm 2 should be equal to marginal cost of firm sorry 2 here this is our marginal revenue function we equated with the marginal cost which is constant here then we solve for q2 that is q2 is equal to 24 minus 0 0.5 q1 okay this is equation first this is equation second what we do we plug the value of q1 is equal to this stuff into second equation so we have q2 is equal to 24 minus 0 0.5 0 0.5 in place of q1 we write this stuff okay 24 minus 0 0.5 q2 so q2 will be equal to this stuff 24 minus 12 plus 0. Point, so it is here 0 0.25 uh, q2 okay solving for q2 so 0.75 q2 is equal to 12 or q2 will be equal to 16 that means output uh, you know decided by firm 2 will be equal to 16 to find out the output decided by firm 1 simply plug q2 is equal to 16 here in the first equation so we'll get q1 is equal to 24 minus 0 0.5 in place of you know uh, q2 we have 16 so q1 will be equal to 24 minus 0 0.5 of 16 is 20 sorry 8 uh, so we will get q1 is equal to 16 okay now the market uh, price will be equal to p will be equal to 200 minus 4 
into the output of this uh, from 1 plus output of from 2 because q is the sum of q1 plus q2 so p will be equal to 200 minus so output decided with from 1 is 16 and output decided by from 2 is also 16 so this becomes 20 share i said 32 so we get p is equal to 200 minus 32 into 4 is 128 that means market uh, price will be 72 and the total uh, you know quantity in this market that is equilibrium quantity will be equal to the summation of the quantities of firm 1 and firm 2 that means q will be equal to q1 plus q2 so q1 is 16 that is output decided by firm 1 q2 is also 16 that is output decided by firm 2 so equilibrium of quantity will also be equal to sorry equilibrium uh, quantity will be equal to 32 okay i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you